Peggy 3. Transfers for players are obviously one of the most important parts of the game and FIFA 12's career mode improves transfers in a multitude of ways. The fees are more realistic, the player movements are more realistic, the negotiations are far more protracted, you deal with the club, then you deal with the player and you need to juggle what's going on around your transfers because you can't rely on one particular deal coming off. It might stagnate, keep going on for days and days and days and you find that you run out of time. Talking of running out of time, Transfer Deadline Day is one of our big new features within Transfers and this is there to provide a dramatic climax to each of the two transfer windows per year. So when Deadline Day comes around, the Career Mode Hub evolves into the Deadline Day Hub, you see the latest deals, you see the amount of money spent and crucially you see how many hours are left in Deadline Day. At the start of the day you've got eight hours to complete your deals and CPU clubs will be acting more aggressively, perhaps more desperately in those times. You may find money's flying around that wasn't flying around previously in the window and you may find that you get involved without means to get involved. So you might have a great squad, you're happy with it, but suddenly a bid comes in for one of your players and it's a big bid and that really makes you think, my god, if I sell this guy now for this money, can I bring in a replacement? The whole Liverpool-Newcastle thing on deadline day last year of Andy Carroll going one way, Torres going to Chelsea, Suarez coming in from Ajax as well. So those type of things can happen now and they really can change your squad dramatically at the last moment.